Hello, welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is Once Upon a Book by Grace Lynn and Kate Messner and illustrated by Grace Lynn. Well, Alice was very bored. She was tired of winter and she was tired of wearing sweaters and winter clothes. And she was just bored. She decided to open a book because she was looking for something to do. Well, the book told her to come on in. So she did. Let's find out what happens. Alice was tired of heavy sweaters and thick socks and staying inside with nothing to do. I wish I were someplace that wasn't so frozen and gray, she grumbled to her mother. She began to stomp away, but something flapped nearby. It was the pages of a book. Curious, Alice began to read. Once upon a time, there was a girl, Alice read. She went to a place alive with colors where even the morning dew was warm. That sounds like our home, said the birds. Turn the page and come in. So she did. The air felt as if it came from the oven, the book said. The girl and the birds played among the flowers. But then the rains came down. I wish I were someplace that wasn't so steamy and drippy, Alice said. With the book over her head, Alice read, So the girl went to a place of sparkling sands where the sun would dry her. That sounds like our home, said the camels. Turn the page and come in. So she did. The sun blazed down and dried her hair as she rode on a camel through the desert. But then a sandstorm blew in and stung the girl's face. I wish I were someplace that wasn't so dusty and dry. Then Alice read, so the girl went to a place of clear waters where the sea would refresh her. That sounds like our home, said the fish. Turn the page and come in. So she did. The gentle water soothed her as she swam with the fish through the coral reefs. But the girl got tangled in seaweed. She was caught and confused. I wish I were someplace that wasn't so cramped and crowded. Then Alice read. So the girl went to a place of wide open blue where she would be boundless and free. That sounds like our home, said the clouds. Turn the page and come in. So she did. The clouds billowed like the sails of a ship, and the girl rode the wind through the sky. But the clouds darkened, and the thunder roared. I wish I were someplace that wasn't so booming and loud. So the girl went to a place with no sounds at all, Alice read, where she could be quiet and calm. That sounds like my home, whispered the moon. Turn the page and come in. So she did. The soundless stars twinkled and winked as she floated in the moon's glowing light. But the emptiness made the girl feel alone. I wish I were someplace that wasn't so lonely, Alice thought. So the girl went to a place of coziness and warmth where the kitchen smelled of dumplings and her family was waiting with her. That sounds like my home, Alice said. Turn the page, her mother said, and come in. And so she did. Well, I think that, you know, when we read books, sometimes we get so involved in the book, we just feel like we're there, don't we? Sometimes when you don't have anything to do, pick up a good book and just read it or just get look at the pictures and just feel like you're there. And I hope that you enjoyed this story. Be sure to come back tomorrow and don't forget to subscribe and like.